Welcome to Learn with Priyanka. This question is part of a series that includes questions 54, 55, 56, and 106. I came across this one and thought it would be great to include here as well. If you missed watching the earlier questions, I'll add a link to the series in the description. Feel free to check it out. And if you've already seen those, this question should be easy for you to answer. Let's dive in. You have a fabric tenant that contains a new semantic model in one lake. You use a fabric notebook to read the data into a Spark data frame. You need to evaluate the data to calculate the minimum, maximum, mean, and standard deviation values for all the string and numeric columns. Solution. You use the following PySpark expression, df.describe.show. Does this meet the goal? Take a moment to think and check the answer. Yes. The df.describe.show is the correct answer. It provides the min, max, mean, and standard deviation for numeric columns. And for string columns, it gives you count, min, and max. Now, I know some of you might be saying, wait, no mean or standard deviation for string columns, so this must be wrong. But hold on, let's think about it. You can't calculate the mean and standard deviation of string columns like apple and banana, right? That's just not how strings work. The documentation might imply otherwise with phrases like all numerical or string columns, but mean and standard deviation don't apply to strings, so they're logically excluded. That's why describe is still the right choice. Bonus tip. You can also use df.summary. It works similarly, but goes a step further. Along with the stats from describe, it gives you approximate percentiles like 25%, 50%, median, and 75%. This makes it another valid and possibly even better choice for some scenarios. So whether you use describe or summary, you're on the right track. See you in the next question.